Some of the reasons I see is the lack of quality and rigour in the conversation at the board level around the IT um, strategy and around the IT procurement and around the understanding of the value that needs to come out of that IT project. And that comes back to the skills and the confidence of directors and senior management to engage in that discussion rigorously and in a, in, a, in a challenging way. Then you have the vendor push. Vendors are going to give you what they have. And so they will cobble together the, this box, that box and that box and then they'll say you've got a solution. Um, if it leaves out something that's really valuable to the organisation, they're probably not going to tell you. And, uh, and, and that's just because each of the way they're structured in trying to sell their, their products and represent their products through their sales um, strategies. And the third area is the issue of the quality of our, the technical excellence of our CIO. And I think that, again, we've, we've compromised on the CIO by looking for having somebody who will talk business language, because that makes us feel comfortable. Whereas we should be challenged to speak technical language <laughs> to get that rigorous discussion. And in the end, we're risk averse. So we say, let's buy from a major vendor because nobody gets into trouble from buying from a major vendor. Let's make sure they've got a balance sheet. So should anything go wrong, their balance sheet secures this transaction. And we pass the risk up to the board for a large procurement because at the board level, if you make a multi-million dollar mistake, you're not going to lose your job. But at a more junior level, if you make a $100,000 mistake, you could lose your job. And so we're not looking for that, that ferment, if you like, of new ideas that could really be transformational.